Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Greg here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how to get started in Proclaim. So let's go to Proclaim. Um, the first thing you want to do is once you get it open, um, I am not reinstalling this on our computer. It's already ready to rock. So I just wanna go through a couple of things with you guys. So on the screen, as you can see, um, this is the settings tab. First thing you wanna do is just go to display. This is actually, for the most part, all you need to do. Um, so just go to the display and set up your outputs. Um, and then you can identify them. So right here, I have our output going to our switcher and then for our lower thirds. And then this is for the LED wall, which I should just rename this LED wall, but whatever. But um, right here, switch over, you can see there is our LED wall. Um, I'm tech director at Unity Church in Charlotte. All right, so enough about that, let's go. So once you get your output set, um, okay. And so what this actually looks like is you're literally connecting your um, HDMI cable to your displays or to your switcher or however you have it ran. In my case, I'm running two different dongles um, to get my outputs, one for the LED wall, and then one for our switcher over there, our handy dandy Blackmagic A10. All right, once you have that set, it's time to prep for your service. So um, typically, if you're slightly familiar with Proclaim or whatever, it will open on the last um, presentation that you created. Okay, so there you go. But we're gonna go from a blank presentation. So this is what a blank, a blank presentation looks like. So I'm just gonna name this 523X for May 23rd experience. Okay, so Let's just get ready. So typically to get ready for a service, I do a couple of things. Um, I go for my announcements, announcement videos or announcement flyers or what have you. So that's what I have here. We actually have more than that, but I just wanted to try to keep this video as clean and short as possible. So what you do is you can drag these into your pre-service loop and then tell them what to do. So once I have it in the pre-service loop, um, I can tell it to show a countdown clock if I want it to, and it'll just show a countdown clock in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, you can auto advance, you know, however long. So these are typically five seconds a piece. So that's not bad, that's a decent run. So you just run that until whenever. So I typically start my service loop when people come walking through the door or maybe a couple of minutes before they come walking in the door. And then next, you just drop in your warm up, which is your countdown. So that's just, uh oh. So that's just like right before service starts actually. So that can be a one minute countdown, 30 second countdown or what have you. And then your service assets. So your service assets would be like scriptures, maybe a background that you wanna use, which I tend to do, I kinda, um, I tend to throw in my backdrops that I'll use for that Sunday or whatever graphic presentations that we'll use. So when you do that, what you wanna do is, one, you want it to loop continuously, and then you click on change video, and then just center it so it will fit the width of your screen. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I'm just gonna kinda jump ahead in the video, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it on air, All right? And then now I'm in preview mode, as you see, okay? And then I'll go to click that once and focus, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like when it's in like a full, when it's fit to the width of the whatever it is. So if 
this is how it came in, I believe, which was like kind of like cut off on the sides, but that's not what I want. So I just wanted it to fit the width of it. And when I was editing it, it just clicked back over to edit mode right there. Okay, so to pull up a scripture, you click on add item, then you click on Bible. Um, I'm not good with the quick keys yet, so I still get the work done in advance. <laughs> So let's do First Chronicles 12 and 32. So first, and then you start typing it in and it will actually, you can just shorten it if you want, 12, 32, okay. And then I just happen to know, um, whenever you are pulling in the scripture, I always ask the speaker what version they're using. So I just happen to know that my pastor would be using the King James version, so. And then if you don't see your version here, you can actually type it right here. So let's switch that to NASB. So watch this. That came up and then boom, the version will change. Okay, so now that scripture's in and you can format it however it works for you. And then the next thing you want to do is just add your background to it. So I love this feature. If you can keep it plain and simple, maybe let's just do a red background. Right, so that's done. Or if you want to continue with the theme or the graphics you already have, you can go ahead and browse media and it's gonna click you over to the, it's gonna kick you over to the media browser. And then as you see right here, this is the one that I've already pulled in. So you can apply as background and then make that adjustment because it's gonna be weird if you don't. So boom right there all right so really quickly my pre-service is ready to rock my countdown is ready to rock and my service assets are ready to rock let's go ahead and add a song everybody does a song right so to add a song you just click add item click song and um let's pick a random artist not random for us but let's do see the light travis green Boom. All right. So that's pulling up. And while that's pulling up, you format it to your screen. What works? I just happen to know that for ours, I run everything at the top. And so it's going to reformat it because all my lyrics actually come up on the top of the LED wall. OK, so then let's just add that background. Browse media. It's the same, right? Apply as background, format it correctly, the image position, and boom, we are ready to rock. Um, let's just make this adjustment really quickly. All right. There we go. So now we have our songs ready to go. And so this is super important to the date of service. What you wanna do is you wanna go right here where the presentation date is and just make sure that you click the correct date because what's gonna happen is this will allow you to set your timer for your service time. And what I love is according to your, um, your countdown clock and your service time, that's when the uh, warm up will start. So it knows that your service starts at 11. So it's gonna start at 10.55 or 10.50, whatever sharp to get this whole countdown done. So our services start at 11. And as you see, it says, this is the time that your warm up will actually start, okay? So just make sure that you get those times correct so that your warm up will start on time. If not, you'll have a weird gap or it won't look right. So I really love uh, faith life and proclaim for that. Um, so after you're done editing, oh wait, hold on. So let me add one more kind of cool thing here. So let's kick that out. Let's add one more cool thing here. This is our post service loop. So you can drop that in. But God bless and thanks for coming and you know, good night folks, right? So once your service is over, your post loop can play out um, to the, you know, so maybe you want to add some more announcements or some video content 
to close the service out. Um, I happened to know that I would run my uh, graphics again. So I would just drop those in again. And then at the end of the service, once I click that, it would run through the one minute, five seconds, and then through the however many minutes or whatever the rest of this stuff is. Okay, so now that we have all of our assets in the service, we are ready to check everything first. So what I do is click the preview button. Okay. And then you click on air. Um, I check everything in real time. Checking everything in real time for me looks like looking at all my graphics, seeing how they look on the screen, making sure they look like I want them to, or at least look acceptable. Next, I even check my countdown. I don't go through the whole thing, but I'll just make sure that it starts and it's ticking away. Next, I look at the scripture, make sure that looks good. Um, I'm actually satisfied with how that looks. Even when the pastor is up, that looks good. You can see that all across our sanctuary. So I'm happy with that. And then just for good measure, you could go through this stuff again here at the bottom, but there's no need. All right, so that was a quick run through of Proclaim. Um, all right, so you have two modes for Proclaim. You have edit and then you have preview mode. Preview mode is just really like live mode. Click on every asset one time and it will go up. If you're in edit mode, you'll have to like double click it. Um, and then of course you gotta click on air for whatever information to be sent to the program or whatever screens you have. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, if it was, please hit that like button. If it wasn't, hit the dislike button, help me out anyway. Hit that subscribe button, uh, share it with somebody, share it with a friend, share it with your church. And until next time, it's your boy Greg, I'm out.